Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I am showing you a build that I did. Um, I mentioned this in my past video, I think a couple past videos, um, but I built this basically like almost a year ago I feel like. Um, and it's just kind of been sitting in my folder because I can't for the life of me figure out how to furnish it. So it's just kind of been sitting around and um, I had mentioned that I thought it'd be a cool idea for me to upload like the You know house itself with like the shell and then you guys can renovate it and then I'll do like a video doing tours and stuff like that um, So yeah, that's pretty much what this video is just showing you like what this house is It looks like I didn't paint a wall here. So let me just get that really quick Okay, Ooh, in there. Okay um, Yeah, so basically um, I built this a couple months to maybe a year ago and I really like the way the outside came out um, I really like that I matched up like these the stone kind of driveway with the one that's kind of built into the world um, so I like some aspects of it I like the way it came out I'm pretty sure I based this off of a like picture reference that I saw on Pinterest I don't know if I have it saved or if it was just something I saw and then built off of um, cause it was such a long time ago. Like I, I don't know if I could find it now, but I do remember, um, basing this off of like a reference picture. So, um, yeah, it was just like this really interesting kind of like higgledy piggledy <laughs> looking, um, like Victorian house. And I just liked the way it looked. Um, and I thought it would fit into the whole Strangerville kind of vibes cause it is kind of like wonky. Um, I don't know. I thought it was like quirky looking <laughs> when I saw it. So anyways, um, we're going to do a little tour of it now, but basically you walk up, um, through like this gravel driveway and then there's some vintage cars that are from, uh, I think a winged llama. So there is like a couple pieces of CC. I'm pretty sure the siding CC, the windows are CC. Um, so yeah, if you want them to show up like in your game, if you want to like, you know, do the furnishing of the inside, then you'll need a couple pieces of CC, but um, I'll make sure to like link it so you guys can find it um, when you download it. But yeah, so you walk through here, obviously this is like the front door. Um, maybe we'll do the outside first. So you walk up the driveway, the cars are here, then there's like kind of a path that goes around um, and it leads to like the back of the house. Um, I'm pretty sure I put up a fence, but it's not here for some reason, but there was a fence up. Um, so you could build a fence up if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, it's just like this little thing. I think probably I was going to do like a seating area out here or something, but you guys can do whatever you want because you have all the artistic license to, you know, furnish this however you want to. But yeah, it's a pretty small yard, obviously, just because the house takes up so much space. You could, if you wanted to, like move the lot up if you wanted more backyard space. Um, that's totally up to you guys, but um, I think for like, as far as like rules and stuff go, I know that like some shell challenges have rules like you can't build outside of it and all that stuff. I think for this build, um, if you guys want to like add like a fence in the backyard or move the lot around, I think that's fine. I think leaving the like outside shell would be really the only thing I would say, like keep the outside shell the same. So you can't like make a room like extend it like this, like make it bigger type of thing. Um, but you would be able to like, if you want to like delete walls inside and like completely rearrange the interior, that's totally fine. I don't mind if you guys do that because I really think that the interior layout's why I had such a hard time with furnishing this house. Um, and I just got so overwhelmed with it. And then I decided, you know what, maybe I'll make this like a shell um, challenge for people to do instead of um, furnishing it. Cause I was just having such a hard time with it. But yeah, this is the um, house. So it's kind of like, this is like the entrance area. Um, and then there's this cool little area with lots of big floor to ceiling windows that I have over here. Um, so that's nice. I think I originally was gonna make this uh, like either a sitting room or a dining room. Um, but again, do whatever you guys would like to do. Uh, that's just what I was doing. And then I didn't like how it <laughs> was working out. So um, yeah, so it's kind of like the entrance area. Then there's this little room here with those nice big windows. 
Um, and then if we go over here, there's another room on the side um, to also get some nice lighting in the morning time. Um, yeah, if you guys want to build like maybe a breakfast nook or something, or maybe make this the living room or study or something like that. Um, and then there's another big room over here that also gets some lighting in the morning. And I think it also gets some really nice lighting in the like evening. So that's pretty nice that your Sims will have some nice lighting in here. Um, and then there's like a back door. It's kind of like a hallway, but again, like you can delete the interior walls and like redo the inside if you want to. Um, and then I think I was gonna make that a bathroom. Then there are some stairs that go up and they go up here into this kind of little landing space with these windows. And then it goes into, I think I was gonna make this like another bathroom. And then there's the stairs that go up to the attic floor. Um, and then this is kind of like just like a hallway space. I put a desk here. There's some like random furniture pieces when I was trying to figure out where rooms and stuff were gonna be, but you can just like delete those. <laughs> um, and then there's this little kind of hallway thing over here that goes and divides into the different rooms. So there's a room with uh, two beds in here. Um, it's pretty big and spacious, so you could block it off if you change the layout up here. Um, and then there's a bigger room over here that has an open like double door type thing to their like big bathroom that would be in here um if you guys decided to lay it out like that and then there's another bedroom over here that has their own bathroom and the this little like kind of nook space and there's some light that gets in here in the evenings and i think that's it really for this top floor area um and then if we go up the stairs it goes to the attic floor and I put a door up here because, you know, like sometimes they'll have like a door that goes up to the attic and you have to like open it. I don't know. I just I put a door here. Um, so there's this door to the attic space and then there's this little area that goes out um, onto this little balcony where the back where the um, like, you know, backyard back garden is. Um, and then there's a room over here, but you kind of have to go around because I didn't open the space up. So you go around. And then there's just like this little area and this really long room over here. And then there's like two um, archways. Sorry, the roofing's gonna make the camera jump. But there's these two archways that you can go through and this leads to the front balcony that's out at the front. So yeah, you can put like doors and stuff here, I guess, if you wanted to. I just left it open because I wasn't sure what I was doing when I <laughs> first built this. Um, but yeah, it's a really big attic space. I didn't really know what to do with it, so I just kind of left it empty. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much, like, the house. Um, absolutely feel free to bulldoze these inside interior walls and make up your own floor plan because I think that's really the biggest thing. Um, that's kind of was difficult with this house and why I didn't end up finishing it. There's also, like, another floor just like this tower thing that's up here um, that I didn't furnish, obviously, but it leads down here. So if you wanted to put like another ladder and have another space up here, um, then you could if you wanted to. But um, yeah, that's like the whole build, basically. Um, it's quite big, like the house itself to furnish, which is why I got so overwhelmed with it. And then I didn't end up finishing it. But um, yeah, I thought it just like fit really well into this world. Um, and I kind of liked how it turned out. I just never ended up completing it because it's just so big and I didn't know what to do with the interior. But um, yeah, if you guys want to, you know, furnish this house and change it up with the way that you think it would look best, then absolutely feel free to. Um, I'm going to leave this download link in the description and link all the CC in it. I might just like package it in there with it um, if it's easier because there's really not that much. I think it's like just the flooring. Actually, no, the flooring I think is from the game. Yeah, the flooring's from the game. So like, it's really just the like archways and doors, windows, and then these two cars, I think. Um, so I'll probably just put them, throw them in there. Yeah, but if you guys want to, then um, feel free to, you know, furnish this how you like and I will do a video tour. Um, I think I'll, I wanna give like people time to furnish it. Um, so probably I think I'll do like tours and stuff 
maybe like end of September. I feel like that's enough time to get people to, um, if people would like to furnish it. Um, it may end up being that no one wants to furnish it and then um, we just didn't do it. So maybe, I don't know, that might happen, but hopefully someone would like to try their hand at furnishing it. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm just gonna leave this here and if you guys want to download it just to play in it and maybe we won't do a tour video i don't know it really depends on whether people want to build in it because if people don't want to then there won't be anything to film so we'll see how it turns out and uh, how many people um would like to furnish it and everything because it is kind of a big undertaking because it's it's pretty big but anywho um, I've been rambling for a while now, so I'm going to go, and I hope you guys like this build, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!